This is a short video to explore how to use engines such as Stockfish 13 in Leeches or Chessbase products like Fritz or Chessbase database. We're going to enter a position and see how to use the engine. So H4 and most players online reply H5, believe it or not, on this one. So here I'm having Commodore 9. I'm going to put two lines and Stockfish 13, two lines. So when I start, I can see that after a few seconds, Stockfish like Knight F3 and C4, but the first token he moves and Commodore Knight F3, Knight C3. I'm going to let the computer continue to Evaluate this position and let's see after a few minutes if the eval and the first move changed. Just so that we can see, we can see that my depth is 33 for Stockfish and now he lacks 93 at 068 and C4. Now, on this here, this is a chase based thing. You can also log and see what people, when they search with their own engine, Deep Fritz or Houdini, what were the moves selected. So it looks like 93 is the main move. So I'm going to play it here. And what I want to show you over here is that you can see the games, with the best players with chase based online database. And it was 93 was played but at least like five players above 2400 in serious games. So here we can see both engine like Bishop G7. So I'm going to put Bishop G7. And now over here in the online database, you can see that Bishop E3 was um, played the most with 56% uh, results. And Bishop C4 was played less, but has 62%. Now Bishop G5 is also interesting. So you can continue like that. And see, so we have the live book here. This is kind of only work for the opening. And here you have the database online with all the games. So you can see people have searched this position before. And it's very close between bishop e3, bishop g5, bishop e2. You can see that here it's only 0.5 difference in the eval between knight 3, bishop g5. So I do like bishop g5. So here what I would do is like bishop g5 here and continue. And then I would save that game and uh, I'm going through this and trying to see for white what would be a good way to play the system. So obviously in the opening it's kind of interesting to know how different engines are evaluating that and you can go to the games and let's say if you were to click here, Kostenyuk, very very strong uh, Grandmaster and she played Bishop G5 and after C6 she continued with a4 and she played that last year in 2020. So you can work to the game and see over here the computer thinks it's slightly better for white and you can let the computer run. So that would be a basic way to use um, the engine. Now if you don't have chase base, I put here um, Liches, and you can see that Liches has the main move here. So if I do knight c3, bishop g7, and also the top game being played, and you can see that a bishop g5 was played and is recommended, and you have stockfish here on the top right. Without using chase base, you can have access to stockfish 13 in Liches, which is completely free, and you can also see the game. So if I were to look at this game here, I would load up a new window and I can work to the game and see how Belyakov ranked 2489 played this game with white. So you have many ways besides King Stockfish to review a opening position. You can also play an engine match on a set of opening position of your choosing. 
I have a video link above where you can review the test I've done between Stockfish 12 and Stockfish 13 on a set of positions. You can obviously also review an entire game. It's very useful to review your own game with Stockfish as well as Top Grandmaster game. So here I've loaded a game played recently between Daniel Lederitsky and Andrew Tang, two very strong Grandmaster. These two strong Grandmaster play this position and here Stockfish at the bottom is evaluating black as being better after king g7. Unfortunately, black chose to take this pawn on a2 and things went very quickly with checkmate on move 21. Now you could analyze this position uh, anywhere uh, manually, but it is more useful at times to review the entire game automatically. So you put yourself at the end, you click in the menu on top, full analysis. Now you can say, let's say four seconds, and you can ask Stockfish to review the entire game. You click OK, and the game is being reviewed move by move. So this takes a little while, obviously. So I'm going to show you the direct results on this very game. And here I have loaded the entire game analyzed by Stockfish. So you could see over here, for instance, that Queen A2 was a big mistake. King G7 on the right move. This is a winning move because of Knight H5 is the threat. You can see in the game that H5 was played. You can also see, for instance, that on move 15, when White was trying to get the Knight to H5, Black had to take over here and after rook c8 the position will be equal and you can test that and analyze here actually the position will be better for black now this is using stockfish to analyze an entire game once again i'm gonna switch to lee chess i loaded this same game in a study on lee chess i do have uh, stockfish evaluating the position uh, king g7 here we can go back earlier on move 15 and in the game uh, queen d5 was played for stockfish like bishop takes queen takes and rook c8 so you can see this is exactly the same line on the top right on the screen in leeches now you may ask how can we analyze the entire game with stockfish just like i did in fritz 17 well, that's pretty easy. You go here, you request a computer analysis, and you wait a little bit. Actually, it's not that long because it's running on a server. And over here at the bottom, you can get the entire game analyzed. And on the right, you can see clearly Queen A2 was a blunder, King 7 was better, but the entire game has been analyzed fairly quickly with the first in accuracy being the 14 move, right? So I think that that's another way that you can analyze any game and you can look at the accuracy here using the latest version of Stockfish, all that in leeches. So I think that we conclude today's tutorial using Stockfish in Fritz and in leeches.org. Thank you for watching and Please subscribe to my channel.